Namibian President Hage Gengob has refuted claims made by Arthur Fraser that he assisted President Cyril Ramaphosa to apprehend Palapala robbery suspects in Namibia. The EFF in Namibia is calling for Gengob to be investigated. For more on this, we speak to Kalimbo Ipumbu, the Deputy President of the EFF in Namibia. Thank you very much for availing yourself this morning. So you have since written uh, to the country's ombudsman in Namibia. Uh, what was your submission? Uh, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to clarify this issue and also to make sure that all listeners uh, understand the conceptuality of uh, the implication of the president of Namibia in regard to what the, uh, the money that was stolen from the Sri Ramaphosa farm. So unlike uh, in South Africa, we have the office of ombudsman. I think in South Africa is the public protector. So it, it, it's the function, I mean, it's the function and it's duty to uh, make sure that it's subpoenaed everyone that is contravening uh, or, or, or making use of the Constitution uh, in regard to uh, uh, what is not supposed to be done. So why I'm saying so is that uh, as, as a civilian or as a citizen, there's a clause in our Constitution that does not allow us or one individual to make a case against the president. And this was done uh, particularly to save uh, those uh, in power. Uh, we are talking of the regime. Uh, remember, this constitution was just uh, amended in 2014. Uh, knowingly that uh, Hage Genko and those that are in the regime, they will continue to take seat of being the president and root the country's resource in order to keep themselves uh, on a safer side they have uh, that Article 32, which uh, brings in their immunity. So we decided to approach the Office of Ombudsman, which is uh, also uh, uh, under the Constitution, which has the, the, the powers and duties to deal with whoever is violating the Constitution of the Republic. So the complaint that we had in with the Office of the Ombudsman it's really to go deeper with this investigation because there's nothing just to, that anything that can come up and then we we'll just sit there and wait uh, for, for him to, to come out and, 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 and blind the people like what he's talking about, saying that he has nothing to do with what has happened. So such investigation should actually be carried forth. But anyway, we have this benefit of doubt because this office also, which is uh, not really independent, we, we want to test this as Namibia to test also the constitutionality, the power and function of the Constitution of the Republic of Namibia, to say this office must really go deeper and do the, the proper investigation into what has transpired. Ipumbu, uh, if you'll uh, allow me please around. to just join you there. Uh, yesterday we spoke on the channel uh, with the spokesperson of the president, Mr. Hage Gengob, and that's Dr. Alfredo Hengari. And the question was put to him whether the president of the Republic of South Africa contacted him seeking assistance in apprehending the alleged suspect that fled to Namibia. Uh, and this is what he had to say. Please just take a listen at this and we'll discuss it in a moment. The allegations that are floating around and being made by certain sections of uh, the South African media as well as the Namibian media, including uh, certain indi in individuals uh, in both countries, are uh, unfounded. There's no factual or legal basis in the allegation that uh, President Hage Gengo, who is a champion of the rule of law and constitutional government in Namibia, has in any way assisted or try to uh, apprehend uh, through his office criminals who are relate who are, who, are, who have been uh, um, involved in the burglary at Palapala Farm. Mm. There's no truth in uh, that allegation. It is true, uh, as is normal practice, that presidents do interact in line with established diplomatic protocol on a regular basis. It is in that framework that uh, President Gengov and President Cyril Ramaphosa do interact on a regular basis on a range of issues uh, in as far as they relate to peace and security in the region, as well as uh, uh, their common endeavor to advance bilateral relations between South Africa and Namibia. 
Mr. Ipumbu, the president of Namibia has been characterized as a champion of the rule of law and his spokesperson that says these allegations are unfounded. The spokesperson says, I mean, these are allegations that are coming from the investigating officer of which the affidavit in black and white is there. So there is no way that one would really admit at the at a time when investigations are not carried forth. So what we want, the Office of Ombudsman, is to carry out the investigation, to, to see to it whether the president of Namibia had, had really helped the, the, the president of Africa for the, the suspects to be uh, arrested here in Namibia. And remember, we have procedures as to when, will, or if somebody is in another country, a, a, a certain regulation should be followed, not just to come in, arrest the person, and then take the person to the other country to be questioned. So can we see now the process as to what transpired as to the one when this person comes in Namibia to come and arrest these people and take them for questioning in South Africa? So that's the process that we want to see, whether it was done procedurally to, to allow us also to, to do away with the feeling or, 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 or this phase of saying our president has at least something to do with what happened in Parapara. So we are saying this office should actually operate independently to make sure that uh, if other gang of hands has involved in this Parapara uh, case, uh, we need to come down and, and really uh, 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 surrender himself to the nation and say, I have done something wrong, and uh, it's higher time that we should actually pave the way so that uh, others who have clean hands can, can take up the presidency's office. Thank you very much for availing yourself this afternoon. Kalimbo Ipumbu is with the Namibian Economic Freedom Fighters. They have since uh, asked the ombudsman in the country, what would be the public protector in South Africa, for example, to launch an investigation uh, into claims that the president of Namibia assisted the president of South Africa in an alleged cover-up.